If you have a look at that app, you're gonna notice a disaster. That's the app with home screen and setting screen and profile screen. If you have a look here, you're gonna notice that we are not signed in, okay? The user, the user is not signed in. If you go to settings, you're gonna notice the name of the user is Batman and he is signed in. If you go to profile, you're gonna notice the name of the user is Conan and he is signed in also. Let's try to fix those issues. For example, let's sign in here. So now the user is signed in, it makes sense. And here are the settings, the user is signed in. And here in profile, the user is signed in. But there's a, an issue. Here the name is Conan and here it's Batman. So let's change it to make it Conan. Now our app work, work perfectly. But what if I press log out here? Now the user is not signed in. But if you look here, you're gonna notice that he's signed in and here also it's a sign in. To be honest, that's an ugly app. Yes, it doesn't make any sense. And that's because we are managing the state locally, not globally. I want when he is signed in, I want to be signed in in home screen, sitting screen and profile screen. And the name of it, he is the same name in settings and profile and everywhere in the app. So to generalize the state in the app, we're gonna create a store. So let's use Redux store to fix that problem. Let's create a new folder called store. We're gonna store all the states in inside that folder. And inside that folder, let's create another file called store.ts. First, let's install those two packages. Let's yarn add Redux. Redux is the package that we use to manage the state globally. And we need to install another package called React Redux. The React Redux package, we're using it to connect our React or React Native app with Redux because Redux is a global library. We can use Redux with AngularJS, with Vue.js, with React.js or React Native. So we want to use it with React Native. So we need to install that package, React Redux. Now let's press enter to install them. After installing these two packages, let's make that necessary import. Import, combined reducers, and create store. Don't worry from that message, create store is deprecated. Because these days we're using Redux Toolkit and Redux Toolkit and Redux recommend us to use Redux Toolkit. And don't worry, I'm gonna, and don't worry, in this tutorial, you're gonna learn the Redux Toolkit. But you first, you have to learn Redux first because as I mentioned before, a lot of projects was built using that Redux. You, so you have to have a knowledge about it. Okay, now let's create our root reducer equals to combine, combine reducer. We use that function to merge all reducers that we create because to write a clean code, we're gonna separate our reducers into files. So we need to merge them. So we're gonna create a root reducer and we're gonna use that method, combine reducers, to merge them together, okay? And let's export our store. Export const store equals to create store and give him just the root reducer. Okay, now let's type here our initial state. Const initial state equals to. We need a state of is signed in and the state of username. For example, let's make it Conan. Now he is not signed in and his name is Conan. The last thing we're gonna create in that file is a, a temp reducer user name or user data equals to a function that return our initial state. Okay? That's a reducer and don't worry if you don't understand it, it's, Java, it's just a, a JavaScript function that return our state. And don't worry about it, I'm gonna talk about reducers in next lessons, okay? So now our last step here in app.tsx, don't forget to connect your Redux with React Native. So we're gonna 
use something called provider. Provider. We import that provider from React Redux. React Redux, as I have mentioned before, it's the package that's responsible for connecting Redux with React Native or React JS. Okay. In that provider, just we have to add the property called store and we import our store from that file. Okay, from our store store file. Now we have done and we can access all of those global data in all app components and screens. Any screen that you want or any component that you want. Let's start with home screen. Okay, let's go to home screen. Inside, if using a sign in from user state hook, we're gonna use Redux. We're gonna just type is sign n equals to use selector and use selector is a hook from react redux allow us to pick the data from our store our store here we want to pick that data a sign in and username or any data that you want so we need to use that hook just create a function state dot and you just have to copy the reducer name and the reducer name is user data okay user data dot dot the data that you want is sign in okay now let's get rid of that and let's hide that button too comment it for now and let's press save now let's go to another screen the setting screen and let's just copy that code and go to setting screen and just paste it like that Let's let's comment those two lines. Let's import our use selector and let's create another use selector for the username. Username equals to user data. Username. You have to know an important thing. That property it should be to equal that property. Okay? And that property should be equal to reducer name. Okay? Now let's finally go to profile screen and let's copy and let's go here. It's just like the setting screen. You can just copy those two lines and paste them here and get rid of those two. And just import your selector and press save. Now if you have a lock here in profile, please sign in. Here sign in first. Here, please sign in because we are not signing in in our store. So what if we make that true? Great. Now we are signing in home screen and in sitting screen. Here we have sign in and the name is Conan. And in profile too, we are signed in and the name is Conan. We can change the name, for example, Superman. If we press save, you're going to notice that in profile, the name is Superman and settings is Superman. So now our state is global. You can control the state in all your app screens and components. Just create your store and use your and use that hook, use selector. And don't worry about that thing, that red lines, because it's TypeScript issues. I'm gonna fix them, fix it soon. But don't worry about it. If you like the video, please. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.